a lot of people may have missed this. So this was on um, a guy who I like. A, a don't I don't listen to all of his show, but this clip comes to us from Anthony Cumia's show, where he had Larry King on. So we'll get this clip up at ladderwithcrowder.com. But it's something that I think a lot of people would miss and I think is pivotal. Fund it, roll the clip. The host opinions count. So, so we got right wing radio, left wing radio. We got uh, Fox News. We got MSNBC. They're both preaching to the choir. Uh, I don't think they have any national impact. I don't think Fox News could elect a president. Do, uh, yeah. I, okay. Did you, now you may not have, did you catch what I just caught? Yeah, that was kind of creepy. Larry King just said, I don't think, forget about Fox News, I don't think a media entity can elect a president. Not, I don't think a media entity should ever try to elect a president. He said it as a condemnation, because let's be honest, it's Larry King, he's not a fan of Fox News, saying, well, Fox News could never elect a president. Meaning, he believes that traditional media, the era of Cronkite, the era of King, that they were able to elect presidents. He believes that's the role of media. That is insane. I'm amazed nobody else is talking about this. Now, he's right that Fox News pre- you know, preaches to the choir, meaning conservatives. They do. They have a conservative audience. MSNBC preaches to the choir. They have a certain audience. Um, CNN preaches to the same choir as MSNBC. But to say, I don't believe they can elect a president. And he's saying that as a, it should be a great thing. What, what a real journalist would say is, well, listen, it's a good thing I, I don't believe that media can elect a president. That's not our job. Yeah. That's what they should say. But that's not what Larry King believes. He believes it's the media's duty to appoint president. And that's why the media was so furious with Matt Drudge. When that happened, the Lewinsky scandal, right? What happened with Matt Drudge is they were, it was, this was, you know, all the newspapers, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Matt Drudge was taking this Lewinsky scandal that was buried like maybe page nine in some paper and putting it front page. And that's what blew up the scandal. And the media, again, the media who Larry King believes were able to elect presidents saying, who is this guy putting on, on page one what we put on page six? We didn't want that to get out there because we want to elect presidents. We want to ensure the safety of presidents who we helped elect. Man. Do you realize that with the Monica Lewinsky scandal, for example, if you were watching Dan Rather, you didn't hear the name Monica Lewinsky for several weeks after that story had broken? That's... It's hard to fathom because it seemed like it was everywhere, but I can't remember what the timeline was. Right. No, it was online and they were furious furious that someone like Matt Drudge, someone, that's why they, they, they badmouth everyone now, same with bloggers. Ever since Matt Drudge, and everyone, of course, knows Drudge Report, ever since Matt Drudge, the media has felt that it's, it's, it's the duty of the media to go, oh, some, some blogger, you know, Vinny in the basement. I mean, Ann Macklin, he was just talking about that super Mexican, you know, broke some of these stories here over at uh, therightscoop.com. Or when they say some guy on the internet. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Someone whose program I've done several times. Yeah. And then after I decide I don't want to do the programming anymore, I become some guy on the internet. That was obnoxious. I, you know, listen, I mean, it's, it's very, very key. Because on the one hand, you have Larry King and Walter Cronkite, who were thought of at one point as, my God, actual journalists. And then on the other side, you have people who seek the truth, like Matt Drudge, like Andrew Breitbart. Now, I try and seek the truth. I'm an entertainer. I'm not a journalist. I've never claimed to be a journalist. But there is a a line in the sand, and it's becoming more and more clear. And that's why you have people out there who are willing to do the job that the media isn't going to do. Why, why was James O'Keefe, you know, why were James O'Keefe and Hannah Giles able to go into Acorn and every single office except for one were willing to aid and abet underage prostitution? So you're saying, I mean, they went into many and all of them were willing to. You mean to tell me that no one in media, no one on Larry King's staff, no one on Dan Rather's staff 
thought to go investigate this organization. People who work, we knew that it was corrupt for, for years. Everyone who works in the political arena or the media industry knew like it was, an, it was an ongoing joke, both with conservatives and liberals. But Larry King could they, not one thought. Let's go in and do an investigation. They're too busy investigating, you know, diners where an owner might not be pro-gay. The reason is because they believe the media can and should elect presidents. You hear that here. It seems benign. He doesn't realize what he's saying, and most people don't realize what he's saying. Liberals will go, yeah, he's right. Fox News can't elect presidents because Barack Obama won twice. Well, there, that's true. That's, he's not incorrect in that. Fox yeah. News, you know, AM rate doesn't have the influence to elect presidents. But that's not the job of media, of journalists. It should never be the job to elect presidents. They should think that that's a great shame hung around their neck if at any point people who are journalists, not opinion editors, are trying to elect presidents or affect outcome of politics. I, I, I mean, is it, is, it, is it just me? N well, it's weird because I, I think that Rush brought uh, a, a great amount of power during the Contract with America era. Uh, sure. I had the big poster that he sent out with the Limbaugh letter back then yeah. of the Contract with America, and Newt was everywhere, and I think that Rush directly influenced sure. the entire nation. But he doesn't claim to be an unbiased journalist. Yeah, true. Larry King does. Larry King here in this exact clip is condemning media for not for being biased, right? He's condemning us. They're preaching to the choir. So he's condemning them for having an opinion and then saying, and I don't think they can elect presidents. So in other words, he's saying you should be biased. You should try and elect presidents. Just make sure people don't catch on. Because then it appears publicly that you're preaching to the choir. This is so pivotal. It, I mean, this is a guy who, I mean, obviously, listen, his ratings were nothing by the time he left, and then they couldn't make Pierce Morgan work. They can't make anything work in the CNN time slots. The only guy who has stuff there, I think, that, that is actually doing well is, is Mike Rowe with his mini, you know, series. Because it's interesting, and, and, and he's a guy who people really like, and he also happens to be more conservative. Um, I, it's, it's one of those things, uh, listener... <laughs> Please go to go to ladderwithcrowder.com. We'll get this clip up on the website. Or actually, we'll probably provide this in a video cast for you with the clip in there so you can have it all self-encapsulated and send it to your friends. But this is what behind closed doors. Every now and then you get a glimpse, right? Because they've been trained through years of college. And in and, and, and media school, journalism, school where you learn journalism, it doesn't really teach you how to be an unbiased journalist. It teaches you how to present the journalism and most of those professors teaching it are just as far left as the people here who removed american sniper from u of m campus so they're teaching you how to play this shell game of oh oh i'm unbiased i'm unbiased here's just the news by the way we're gonna try and elect presidents like larry king said he made it sound like that's the ultimate end goal is for media to elect presidents so whenever someone tells you they missed the, the golden era of unbiased journalism, the era of Walter Cronkite, who said you couldn't be a journalist and, and not be a liberal, just know that it's all an absolute crock. Everyone has an opinion. Make sure yours is informed. If you like this video, subscribe by clicking my face or watching this video playing in a box next to me. Also, you can always subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, or LadderWithCrowder.com. It's all free, and I'm sure some of you will still bitch.